What's up guys? Today I'm going to teach you how to make a video like this one. I'm so tired, so fed up of you messing with my buzz. You shut down, had enough. I'm just looking for that rush. I'm so tired, so fed up of you messing with my buzz. Lock your eyes, we just touch. Feel our bodies drifting up. Boom. All right. So now I'm going to teach you how to do that. So we're going to create a new project, 16 by 9. Let's go ahead and bring in your media. Now, KineMaster already has some backgrounds built in, so we can go ahead and choose some different colors. And I'll show you how to change this later in case you ever change your mind. Next, we got to bring in our music. So we're going to click on audio and find our song. So we'll click on it and choose the plus button. Now you're just going to want to scroll through and find a good starting point where you want your video to start. Once you have where you want your audio to start, you can click on trim and split and trim to left of playhead. So now I'm going to hold down the track and scoot it all the way left. Next we add some text, so I'm going to click on layer, text, and now you can start typing the lyrics to the video. So I'm just going to scale it up and move it to the top left corner. Now we just work on getting the timing so that I'm appears right when you hear the word I'm in the song. So I'm going to hit play and pause right when I want it to appear and trim to left of playhead. Now instead of creating a whole new text layer, what I'm going to do is just duplicate. I'm going to scoot it over and I'm just going to fast forward and I'm going to do the exact same thing with the next word. Again, I'm going to get the timing right and once I have that, trim to left to playhead. I'm going to duplicate it again, do the next word. You can also change the color if you need to by clicking the color circle and choose whatever color you want. And now you can even change your animation. For this one, I'm going to change it to flicker. And because I just taught you this, I'm just going to fast forward again until we reach something new. So now I'm going to work on getting my background to change when I want it to. So I found the point in the song when I want the background to change, and now instead I'm going to click on trim to right of playhead. Again, at any point you can change the order of the background if you like, so I'm going to change the yellow one to appear next. Now we're just going to play it through to make sure it all pops up at the right time. I'm so tired, so fed up. So now I'm just going to fast forward, I'm just going to duplicate, do the rest of the text, do some different animations. Now for this one I'm going to add a transition. There's a whole bunch of transitions to choose from, but I'm going to actually find a new one from the store. So we're going to click on the store icon, and I'm going to go until I find something I like, and I'm going to go with one called Speed Turn. So we can click download, and I also downloaded one called Dolly Warp. So we can go into the transitions, and now we have Speed Turn and Dolly Warp, and I'm going to choose one from the Dolly Warp section. So now the next thing I wanted to do was make it look like all the words are flying down while the word up is flying up. So the word up has an out animation, a fly up, so that one's already taken care of. Now I want the rest of the words to look like they're flying down. So I'll show you how I did that. I click on the word, and there's the keyframe button on the left. We're going to add a keyframe, Now we're going to scroll forward just a little bit, and I'm going to add a new keyframe. And I'm going to change the position to add a frame. So now it looks like it's flying out. Now we're just going to repeat and do that for the rest of the words. Now we're going to create more text and do our next sequence. Again, you can scale it. I'll position it up here and change the in animation to whatever you like. I went with enter slide down. You can also change the speed of the animation. So I'm going to make it a little faster. Now I'm going to do that for the rest of this sequence. I'm going to just add more text, do more animations. Again, I'm going to mess around with another cool keyframe. So I'm going to make it look like it flies up and rotates. So again, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to create a keyframe at the start and another keyframe at the end. And we're going to position it where we want it to fly to. So we're going to change the position and the rotation this time. And now for the word messing, I don't want it to fly all the way off screen. I want it to end on the very left, but still flipped. Alright, so the next edit I did was make it look like the words were disappearing with the transition. I chose the transition block in. Now I want the words to disappear as if the blocks are removing the words. So I'm going to scroll through until it looks as if it's covering my word. So right here it looks like it's covering the word with, so I'm going to remove that by trimming to right of playhead so it's no longer on the timeline. We'll scroll forward just a little bit more, and we'll get rid of messing, and right here, it looks like my would disappear. 
So we're going to go ahead and trim try to play head. And now all the words disappear. And fast forward, adding more text, repositioning, doing some animation, adding some more keyframes. So this is all things I've just taught, so nothing new yet. Now here's something new. I'm going to go to layer and click on handwriting. Now you can change the utensil or design, whatever you like. I'm going to go with the one on the far left, which is a line without an arrow. We can change the color. I'm going to go with a nice green look. And I'm just going to click and draw it right here. Now for the in animation, I like doing draw by stroke. And we're going to make it appear a little faster. Now we can go ahead and do the rest of our words. Now this time instead of text, we're going to do an animation and keyframing with the line object. We're just going to create a beginning keyframe and an ending keyframe and have the line move to the bottom. Now on top of that, I want it to look like the words are being hit out of frame. So again, we're going to scroll through until it looks like the line is hitting the word and keyframe the word as if it's flying out left. Except for the down word, we want that to fly down. Again, a play on words. It's clever. Then we'll go ahead, add more text however you want. I'm just kind of doing what I think would be cool. Again, KineMaster offers a whole bunch of tools. You can add a shadow, you can add a glow, outline, anything you want. I'm going to change the color, do another animation. This time I'll go with fountain, add some more text. Now I wanted to add something new, something unique. So we're going to click on layer and overlay. If you have anything installed that you like, cool. If not, let's go to get more. And I scrolled down and looked around until I found one called Smiley's. So I'm going to go ahead and install that. Now we can add that in, and I'm going to go with this little angry face, which is really cool. It's already animated, so we'll add an in animation. Now he pops up, and I'm going to change the out animation to this spin, so it looks like he's rolling. And we're going to do a keyframe, and keyframe him to the left, so it looks like he's rolling off the screen. That's pretty cool. Now again, we're going to look like it's interacting with the words, so we're going to have the words fly left. Add some more of our text. Now let's say you wanted to change the background. You can use video clips if you'd like. So let's go ahead and click on Layer and Media. And if you can click on the video clip, and click on this middle icon up at the top, and we'll choose full screen. Now we can click on the three dots on the left and choose Send to Back. Now we see our text. And now we have a moving background. Now the next thing I want to show you is a cool asset on the KineMaster store. So we're going to click on the little shop icon. And that's going to open the store. Now we can scroll down. Now under the clip graphics icon, there's a karaoke effect. So we're going to go ahead and add that in. And I click on clip graphics and they have a whole bunch. They got your opening, any lyrics, they even have a score. So we can type in our text here. We can change the color. Now in that example, the red outline went way too fast. So we're going to change that. So we're going to click on it. And you can click and drag the effect and change the duration. So now when we play back, it matches perfectly with the song. Now the next thing we're going to do is give an A plus score of 100 points. So we'll type in 100, and there we go. So I know that was a lot of information, but I taught you the basics and some cool keyframing techniques. So go ahead, use it in your own way, and create something unique. Alright, thanks for watching.